Let me tell you something right now that happened in real time. St. Ryan, he comes out here, he makes himself a little bill. It's cute. That's what he likes to do. He likes to make a little cute bill. And that's fine. Level 60 with plus 12 weapons making a cute build. Uh-oh, run into a little problem there, don't you, Sane? Ah! Run into a little problem. Hard to make a cute build work at level 60. Much less if you decide you want to get too cute with it, which is exactly what you done. You went in there and you got a little too cute. Let me ask you something. You take a look at these boys right here. You tell me and they, they deserve cute. Won't you look at them? They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about what's cute. All they care about is making it through this little dungeon. You gonna tell me these people deserve a cute build? I don't think so. Ah, ah. And so now we've decided level 60 we, we ain't gonna be cute. Don't be cute. I think back on my days and I remember the biggest SOB that I ever met in any video game. His name was Wygriff Foles. And Wygriff damn near soft locked my Final Fantasy Tactics save file. Because he was a right proper bastard is what he was. And that's what he does. And he's good at it. And so I made a bastard build and then I turn around and I name it Wygriff. For that exact reason. This is what they deserve. He wants to run around with his tarnished tongue hanging out. And then when he gets invaded he turns his little tongue off and he summons the blues. And he tries his hardest not to engage with the boss. Well, it's a tough boss, ain't it? Yeah, it's a tough boss, but that's the price you pay when you come up here wagging that taunter's tongue, and that's the bottom line. Now he's decided, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's not cute. Don't be cute. This is what you get when you're cute. I went down to Japan. I was doing invasions. And let me tell you something, down there, brother, they don't give a damn about what's cute and what's not cute. You know what they think is cute is when all your stats are in the right place and you're wearing the right armor and you got the right poise. That's what they care about. And the referees, they'll turn a blind eye and look the other way at the gaijin who came to town. And they'll just let this sort of thing happen right here, fighting on a beach. It's not enough that he's got him and his friend. There's nothing here that can help me. I'm just a man alone at sea. But it don't matter. Because I'm the toughest son bitch I ever was. He summoned up another friend. He never got enough friends. It don't matter. Because we're not cute. Don't be cute. Take a look right here. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. I'm level 60 and I gotta put up with this fella here using the bolt of gram snacks. Well, I ain't hungry and you ain't cute. I'm gonna go chase this waterfall like Lisa Left Eye Lopez. God rest her soul. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready with something that ain't cute. We'll see how much you like this damage right here. Yeah, you don't like that. That's what you get. Coming in here, being level 4,000, and you got your little bloodhound step friend. Now, has anything cute happened here? I don't think so. Not to my approximation, not. Nah. But I tell you what, you get what you deserve, and that's what you get. Now that don't mean 
that I'm necessarily going to be a heartless monster. Because that's not what's going to happen. Sometimes you roll up on a boy and he's a cute boy and you're looking at him and maybe you want to pucker up your lips and lick him a little. Get him wet. And then just give him a little smooch on the lips. Like cute boys do. And I pull out that lucerne in that situation. We have a little fun. We have a good time, don't we? Oh, we love a good time. This boy wants to be cute. I think he's cute. He thinks he thinks I'm cute too. So we have us a cute little fight. I give him a little wave. Now do these people look cute? Do these people look like they deserve to see the Lucerne? Not by my approximation, no they do not. So we hit him with that wondrous physic, gives us the poise, gives us the ability to absorb elemental damage for about eight seconds, that's a rodeo. You get on the bull and you just take it for a ride. And that's what you're doing, but I am the bull. And sometimes when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And that's just the way that it is. The horns in this case is a cannon. And then a little running R1 poke. You like that, don't you? They want to cast lightning in the water. They know what gives them an advantage. That's all they care about. They want to have advantages. Here's an advantage you can have. You ain't got to pay taxes no more, boy, because you're dead. Nobody asked your dumb ass. Shut up. So I went to Japan. I seen them camping in the bonfire room just waiting on me rude not making any single attempt to try and play the level you don't want to play the level you can't play the game turn it off 2v1 and me on a bridge with all these bleed weapons and your blasphemy blade you think that's cute? Well, it is kind of cute. I'll give you, it's a little cute. So I tell you what, we're going to switch away. We're going to go with the trusty's Y-Hander. Now, yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to give so many comments from people from Detroit, Michigan, trying to tell me how to pronounce Zwei-Hander. You ask somebody in Germany, they'll be like, hey, he's, he's pronouncing it fine. I might have a hard time pronouncing some of his English words if I was to try them. They don't care. They let me say Zwihander. But you people from Austin, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, and Beverly Hills, California want me to say Zwihander? It ain't gonna happen. You got two fellas here. They think they can just have all the dead enemies. There's no enemies left in this level. It's just a piece of trash level. I don't want to invade here. But I have to invade here because I want to invade a little bit later on. So I have to invade here. That's fine. I started as a vagabond. I got nine intelligence. I slap on the, the, the talisman that gives me more intelligence stargazer talisman and now guess what I can cast night maidens mist you gonna come out here and fight me boy I'm already out of flasks having to put up with all your cute magic and now you want the 1v1 all right let's go let's see let's see oh he's cute he's passive he's not doing nothing it's all the arena to these people they talk about their owner. They talk about the ancestors. They talk about the fight club.
what he ought to do is he ought to go get him a bottle of that sake and get him back some of that former glory that he used to have. Yeah, you talk about your honor, 316. Well, Riot 316 says I just whipped your ass. And now I'm coming for you. What sort of feats are you capable of performing when you don't have somebody covering every mistake you've ever made? Oh, well, looky there. You've got a frosty cloud to cover every mistake you're going to make. That's fine. Take your time. You can try and run. All you're going to do is die tired. That's what you get. Be cute. And maybe then I'll be cute. You want to know something that's not cute? i tell you what it is right now. Blood Flame Blade, buff. Fire's Deadly Sin. Oh boy, I wonder what he wants to do. Aren't you just excited to try and find out what he's going to try and do? And then we got the wizard on the other side. And they're just going to stand there. Not doing nothing. Except getting hit by their own spells. Because you got a couple idiots in here who think they run the frozen lake. I'll tell you about running the frozen lake right here. We gonna run it. I hope you got your track shoes on. And we're doing double time. Any time I get close to this man, it's fire's deadly sin and blood flame blade. I don't even understand. You're supposed to try and chase after me when this happens. He don't even know how to use this stupid exploit right. Like it takes some kind of genius to put it all together. It don't. It's the simplest thing in the world. You do the exploit and then you just run at people. You absolute moron. Just brain dead competition. Now I want you to think about what would have happened if I'd showed up here with one of my little cute builds. How would this have gone? If old Sane Ryan had showed up with a cute build, we'd probably be talking, telling a whole different story right now, wouldn't we? But you look cute, don't you? Why don't you come here and take some of this? The absolute gall. The passivity. Bestial Sling says you can't be passive no more. You have to fight. You better be damn good at it. I got a feeling that you ain't. I'll give you miss. He does keep swinging. We'll go on the offensive a little bit. We'll use a little Bestial Sling. Where are you going? You was having a good time. Mashing that R1 button. Nuh uh. Get back here. And then he's got his little bunny hops. He was all excited when he had a friend who could just glitch the game for him. Now he ain't got that. What's he got? Nothing. Not even a hint of a thought in this man's mind. Just literally running in a circle until he gives up. Pathetic. Makes me sick. I just can't get away from this ignorant ass place. Look at it. I just keep invading here. I don't want to invade here no more. I want to go home. I want to sit down on my front porch with a cane of beer and I want to watch the cars go by. I want to look at traffic. 
I want to wave at people as they drive past my house, but not really wave. What I really want to do is I just lift up my beer can a little bit as they drive past. And maybe they give me a little honk on the horn. I like that sound. And so I, then I give them a nod as they drive past. That's what I want to do. Instead, I'm stuck here with these three goofballs. And this is the kind of thing I got to put up with. I don't feel like being cute. He thinks that's real cute. He picks his sword up. A lightning bolt comes out. He thinks it's real cute. Goes for the parry. Thinks that's real cute. Wizard friend shooting me with a spell inside of a Terra Magica buff. Think that's real cute. Just casting the same spell over and over again. No creativity. No originality. You're going to pay. I'll use your spells against you. I kill your own friend with your spells. Just keep casting the same spell over and over and over again and wonder why you ain't got any scholarships. Uh-uh. You're paying for your own college. Why on earth would the state pay for that? Like sending a hamster to snake school. You don't belong. Get out. We got the dual ant spur rapiers at level 60. I'm sure he picked those up legit in New Game Plus. Yeah. We got the blue, we got the phantom. They think they're they think they're the hottest thing. The hottest thing is this fallen star beast right here. Even in the playing fields, all I need is a minute. Give me a minute. All I'm asking for is 60 seconds. And that's all it takes. And you get one for good measure. Oh, here we go. Using Moog's red circle. Every chance he get. Trying to ambush me. Like I'm some sort of jackass. Gonna fall for that. Hey, speaking of falling. Y'all have a good trip down there with the big ball. I'll be right up here motivating you with my cannon. We'll see how y'all like that. Maybe after they've dealt with this for a little bit, they get tired of it. They decide this ain't going to work. Maybe what we should do is try and make a little progress in the level. Yeah, that's what you ought to try to do. Another thing you ought to try doing is rolling good. This is Elden Ring, son. Don't you ever roll bad. Don't you ever jump bad. I'll make a little swap over. Now he's a little cute. He likes to do his little jump. A hey, little jump. He jumped right onto the back of my sword. Trying to make it look like I did that illegal backstab maneuver that they keep accusing me of. One, it's legal in America where I, ra where I do invasions. Not wrestle. This is about invasions. And two, on top of that... I didn't even backstab him. I don't know what the ref was seeing. He just jumped right on the... He jumped on the, my sword like that. Here's a little troll roar. On the rodeo to finish us off. Boy, I sure as hell hope you like that video right there. It ain't cute. Ain't nothing cute about it. There's them numbers. Look at them. Not cute. Wow. That was powerful stuff there from uh, Stone Cold Saint Riot, who is a different person from me, who I am, regular Saint Riot. You don't have to say regular, it's just implied, just Saint Riot. But uh, you know, it seems like he had a lot of steam to blow off, 
you know, maybe doing level 60 invasions with a, with a cute build maybe uh, drove him a little mad, you know. You can ignore the, those last three weapons right there. I don't use those. I just picked them up. Uh, but yeah, here's the build. It's not cute. Uh, it's pretty efficient, though. I'll see you next time. Later, y'all.